Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. Hope you're all doing well out there. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. Hope you get some value out of it. It has been a big, big day in the op shop. So I've gone out to about five or six today and I've sourced items more so for the Q4 period and the Christmas time that we have coming up. The Santa hat's been on and I've really placed a large focus on kids and kids toys, plush, games, board games, all these sorts of things. And I've come across a couple of absolute rippers. Now, look, to be fair, I don't plan this category too much. So it's been a really interesting day to do a whole different type of comp search on items that I would normally never pick at and never look at. But I'm really trying to expand my knowledge, learn different things, learn different categories, and I wanna get that across to you as well. So as you can see behind me, I've got a heap of stuff that I would never have normally bought. And I thought in today's episode, I would just sit back and show you all of these items and hopefully you find some value out of it. What I do wanna know though, guys, in the comments below is what are you thinking about for the Christmas time and the Q4 period that we're in? What are you buying to stock yourself up and have some really good items to sell over the Christmas period? I would love to know because I'm in my first Q4 period and I'm really trying to look and learn as much as I possibly can as well. So drop that in the comments below. Let's get into it. I've got a heap of cool items here that are hopefully gonna make you think a little bit about what you're buying for the Christmas period, but let's get into it. All right, so the very first one that I wanted to go through today, which I think is gonna be a really crucial thing for you guys to focus on if you aren't already, is the games. Now, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, in this op shop that I went into today, they were all there. If you could believe there were 23 games to pick from in one op shop, absolute madness. But I was ended up buying six of them. So I bought six, I left 17, because they weren't comping very well on eBay. And I sat there for about 30 minutes and I comped every single one to make sure that I was buying the right six out of the 23. Now these all resale for about 10 to $20 on eBay. And all of the other ones were sort of between four to five to $6. And I've bought these for $4 each. So I have spent $24 on these, but the resale value was anywhere between 60 to 120. Now I think games and consoles in the electronic space is gonna be a great category, not only year round, but really crucially over the Christmas time to get into. So if you aren't into the gaming at the moment, and to be fair, I'm not really, I'm only just starting to get into it, you should really start to place a large focus around the games because they do and they will move very, very quick over the next couple of months. So I was happy to buy these today as a bit of a bundle pack, a uh, bit of a mixture of PlayStation and Xbox, but all sort of between that 10 to $20 range. I paid $4 each, so there's gonna be some true profit in there at the end of the day. But yeah, I wanna focus on guys as a category, the Xbox and the PlayStation games. Then I jumped into the bric-a-brac section, guys, and the bric-a-brac section had the tin talking to me. This was the Cadbury's Cocoa Essence 1970s retro vintage, whatever you want to call it, uh, chocolate tin. So this one I only paid $1.50, but the resale is probably going to be about 25 to 30 bucks. I always think you should pay attention in the bric-a-brac to whatever tins they have. Often it could just be the roses or the Cadbury type chocolate, and they're obviously never worth too much. But if you find these vintage style tins, I found a wheat mix tin only a couple of weeks ago and it sold for 30. You can actually make some really good money and the op shops will always sell them for a one or $2. So that one was just a really cool pickup today and it will sell, I think in pretty quick time, because there are some true collectors of the tins out there that they are hunting on eBay for these sorts of things. So that was just a really cool one to grab. Now, I really do think over the Christmas time, you should be paying a large amount of attention and focus on the kids' toys and preferably boxed new or near new, if you could possibly find them. Now, I really do think the op shops are still a great place to find these items. And I had a bit of a dig in the op shops that I went into today for these particulars. Now, I was able to find this anime toy. Now, this was an anime toy that I have no true idea about, but there is some information up here on it. Now, it was originally $40. It does say on it, zero rem salopet. So not too sure much, uh, not, not too sure yet I should say about this one, but if I can get my $40 for it, which I think I should probably be able to because it is a collector's item, um, I pay just $13.50. Now this one is boxed, it's still in very good condition. You can see the doll in here, there is no damage to it whatsoever. Um, this one is a collector's item and there are a number of them. So I've only got the one, but I still think that it's gonna resell for quite good value. Then I found these, which are Japanese uh, style toys, and they're boxed, and they're, I believe a collector's item. I don't know too much about this brand. I haven't heard much about it before. Maybe you have. It was the Henderoid series. So the Henderoid series box toys. I've got number 986 here. This one is Simon. So I've been able to pick up Simon, if you can see there. So Simon has been secured. And then I've also got Kamina here as well. So. 
Camino is a box toy too, as you can see there. Now, I've ended up paying $20 for these each, guys. So I spent 40 bucks, but the resale value on them is actually quite good. Um, I'm gonna be able to make around about $150, I believe. One might be 60 and one might be 80 from memory uh, when I was doing the comps earlier today. But um, paying 40, I still think I'll make over 100 bucks on these ones. So this has been a pretty good pickup. And again, behind the counter at the op shop, it always pays to check. Brand new box toys, a great one over the Christmas period too. Let me know in the comments below, have any of you ever sourced a fire engine, a fire engine toy truck and sold it on eBay? Because the comps that I had a look at were unbelievable. I've been able to pick two up today that were boxed and they were $3. So here's the first one here. Three bucks for this guy. Now this is the brand is Anko, and Anko, to be fair, isn't a great brand, but this one is just a lights and sounds fire truck, and it is boxed brand new, ready to go, and I've paid just three dollars. So I've got that one there. I've also got the second one here as well. So there's two different types, but they're both there, and I reckon I'm gonna get 25 to 30 dollars because they are boxed brand new, and they've only cost me three dollars in the op shop. So it just goes to show that you can find new toys in the op shop for a very, very cheap price. 25 to 30 bucks each could be a 50 to 60 dollar return off a six dollar spend now something i wasn't aware of is board games are a great category to pay a bit of attention to in the op shops i've done a bit of digging through the five or six that i went into today and i found this one so this was the great australian gambling game now the comps on this one are about 50 to 55 dollars i believe on memory now i paid 10 dollars for this they do mark it up top here as a complete set so there shouldn't be any missing pieces with this one um, but this one is a very old actually 1987 so a 1987 board game it is an australian original this one's just a gem of a piece i was so stoked when i found this one now 1987 we're talking uh, 33 years so 33 year old board game still in great nick still in full condition everything's still in the bag we are in for a winner with this one if i can get the 50 for it and i've only paid 10 that's just a great result on a board game now you might have thought that's great but i've actually gone ahead and found a better one and to be fair it's probably my best ever uh, thrift store find I found this Battlestar Galactica board game. Now, I'm gonna whack the comps up here for you to have a look at, but if you can just marvel in the comps, this is around $200. Some, some of them even sold for 240. So we're talking a 200 to $240 board game, which was sitting behind the counter of the op shop that I was in. Now, this one had a price tag on it for 70 bucks. It did have every single piece uh, there's the 70. It did have every single piece in it. It is a complete set, so there's nothing wrong with it. And the comps were saying sort of 200 to 240. Now, I'd bought a few things. I bought some clothes. I bought a few more games. I bought that tin, even though it was $1.50. It's still some value. And uh, I said to them, could you drop the price down on this guy for me? And she ended up dropping it down at $50, guys. So, yes, it comps for 200 to 250 around that mark. But I've only bought it for 50 bucks. So, this could be potentially a $100 to $200 sort of profit item. And it's a board game, a board game that I wouldn't have thought would have held any true value. But sure enough, I found a $200 board game in the op shop, probably my, probably my greatest op shop find that I've ever had. So that was cool. And then I'm gonna drop it down a peg, but it was the Top Gear board game. Now, this one was good and I bought this one because it is brand new, it's still in its packaging, guys. So I've only paid $7 for this, but Top Gear's a really cool TV show. It was really cheap. Cops were telling me about 20 to 25. So I've still grabbed it for the Christmas time. I mean, I'm probably not gonna list it straight away, but over the next couple of months, I just think this one will go really quick on eBay. So I bought three board games today. Obviously the big bopper in the Battlestar Galactica, the real sort of cheap one that's gonna go for about a 15, $20 profit. And then the old vintage style game with the Gambling Australia game. So all in all guys, it could be about $250 there worth of profit on the board games. So my message today is go out there and have a look for the board games in your op shops and do your comp searches because I didn't realize that Battlestar Galactica, I didn't realize any board game could hold that much value. Um, if you have sold a board game in the past for upwards of $100, $200, put that in the comments below as well. Let me know what game it was because I'm always gonna go out now and search for more board games because clearly it can make you some money. So there's quite a few items, guys, that I haven't really bought too much previously, but I really want to show you these today to get kind of your thoughts thinking around the Q4 Christmas period because you're really gonna try maybe potentially change what you're currently buying to adapt to what's coming up. Um, my first time, I'm trying to do that here, but let me know if I should be focusing on other areas or if there's other cool areas to, to you know make a few dollars on um, because I, know, I have no doubt that there is. 
Um, I found a couple of really cool items in clothing that I sh thought I'd quickly show you as well. Um, this Ferrari tee just had all the bells and whistles on it. Had every single bit of embroidery as, as you can imagine. Um, even on the shoulder here too, it had the Vodafone and it had the big one on the back too, and Ferrari. So guys, I'm thinking about 50 to 60 bucks for this guy. He is just perfect. Um, stoked to find that one in there. Uh, I found this Callaway Golf as well. So Callaway Golf Polo, as you can see there. Anyone that plays golf will know that Callaway is the brand to get into. And as you can see by the material on this, that's just a really good quality polo. So I'm thinking 30 to $35 for that one. Uh, I found the Tommy Hilfiger button up as well. So always a good find when you're finding Tommy in the op shops. Now, that one there with the little, with the little logo, little logo on the sleeve, little Tommy Hilfiger with the little logo on the pouch there. That's just a cool little find. Um, happy to grab that. I've also found some board shorts. Now guys, I reckon I bought about 15 pairs of board shorts today and they're all about four bucks and I flicked them all for about 15 on uh, Facebook. So I make it about $10 profit on every board short I buy. So when you're finding Billabong, Quicksilver, Rip Curl, all those sorts of brands, Hurley, um, just make sure you buy them and stock up on them, especially for the summertime because I'm making 10 bucks a pop in pretty quick time. Um, so that one was just a really cool buy. Um, I found about four Tommy Hilfiger polos as well, guys. Now these ones go for, oh no, sorry, I lie. I've got a lot of Tommy Hilfigers, but these are the RM Williams. So RM William polo shirt. Um, it's got a little, little logo there as well. This one's very genuine, very authentic. And that one should go for about 25 to 30 bucks on eBay. Um, this one was a brand that I'm not too sure about, but I'm hoping it's gonna come through with the goods. It's Guardian Angel, Singapore brand. Don't know if you guys have heard too much about it. Let me know in the comments if you have, because I picked this one up today for $5, and it did, I think someone on eBay was trying to sell it for 50. So I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but I thought I'd just give it a go anyway. Some more board shorts, turn them into $15 very, very quickly. Um, here's the Tommy Hilfiger. So found the Tommy Hilfiger, just a plain essential with a small logo. I've got about four of those today for $5 each. So that's been a really good return on the Tommy Hilfiger. Um, more board shorts here. I found Lorna Jane actually as well today, guys. So anything Lorna Jane is gonna sell really well. There's the logo there. Now that was $6 and I'm gonna turn that into 25 to 30 pretty quick, I'd imagine. Uh, Rip Curl boardies again. Guys, there was a lot of board shorts bought today. Um, Tommy Hilfiger Polo, just another one there as well. So that was good. Oh, and I found the Wayne Rooney Manchester United jersey today too. So 25 to 30 bucks, I reckon, for this one. Number 10, Wayne Rooney. Um, all really good quality and good condition. So he was an awesome find. He was on the mannequin and he came off the mannequin pretty quick. So guys, big, big day. I've bought a heap of items. It was mainly those items of toys that I wanted to show you today and at least get the conversation, if anything, get the conversation started in the comments around what we should be doing for the Q4 period. Um, we'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for tuning into this one. Hope you like this style of video, just me kind of kicking back after a day of shopping and showing you the items that I'm buying to hopefully help you go out there and buy the same items and make the same profit. Um, look forward to catching you in the next episode, guys. Appreciate you tuning into this one. Look forward to seeing you in the next.